Something you're going to learn when you start learning online marketing is that it's so important to build your email list and to build it, you need a lead magnet. Have you heard that before? Let me explain what that means. A lead magnet is where you give away something in exchange for their email address. Well, I used to do that and I no longer, I, I no longer do. That lead magnet is also sometimes called an ethical bribe. <laughs> it's just as I moved more and more into authentic marketing, I started seeing these things as being incredibly strange, not just strange, but inhumane, like like ethical bribe doesn't make sense. And a lead magnet doesn't see the human being behind that. Why are we trying to use magnets to attract leads? These are human beings who want to be treated with respect and with care. And so instead of a lead magnet, instead of trying to force somebody to give you their email address in order to give them a video or a series of videos or a series of emails, whatever, why don't you go ahead and publish your video on YouTube, on IGTV, on Facebook? More people will watch it because pe people will be searching and they will find it. You'll make more of an impact and you'll probably get more clients. Instead of having an ebook that people have to give you their email address to get it, why don't you publish that ebook on Amazon? More people will find it, people will read it, you'll get more, you'll have more impact, you'll get more clients. Let's stop using lead magnets. I stopped doing it in 2014, and my business has gotten better every year once I stopped doing it. Why did it get better? Because I was getting more loyal and true subscribers. So, do I build an email list? Of course I do, but I don't check this out, right? If you go to my website, there is no pop-up saying, Hey, join my email newsletter, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't annoy. I don't, I try not to anyway. I try not to annoy you. Why are marketers teaching us to be annoying to other people? It, because they are, they are desperate and they are only looking at the short term numbers. They're not looking at what happens to human beings when you do this again and again. You only build a short-term audience. They don't tend to trust you over time. I've said before, we can't really build trust. We can only act in a trustworthy way. And the natural result is that people tend to trust us, but we can't force it either. So don't force people to give you their email address. If you go to my website, of course you can join my email list, but it's not any, you have to look for it. Yes. You, go to my, you actually have to look for how to join my email list. But my email newsletters are, have a much higher open rate than the industry average. I used to have a lower open rate when I used lead magnets. Now I have a much higher open rate. I have a much higher click rate. I have a full waiting list. I have great sales of my online courses every month because I have built trust by being trustworthy, not by forcing people to look at my stuff. So... The next time, or maybe you should make a change right now on your website, take off the pop-up box. If you have a pop-up box, take it off, right? Secondly, if you are forcing people to give you their email address to be able to get something, maybe you need to stop doing that, put that stuff on, like I said, on YouTube or on medium.com or wherever people can find it and read it. Now, you might say, well, George, that, do you send out an email newsletter? Yes, but here's how I do it, okay? When someone comes to my website and they actually want to receive ongoing emails from me, they see the newsletter tab at the top. It's not invisible, right? It's in the navigation bar. So it's not like they can't find it. They have to hunt. No, it's, it's there, but they have to intentionally click on it. It's next to you know services, next to blogs. So it's like, okay, it's one of the tabs. Great. They click on it, and then they have a decision. They can either get my email newsletter once a week, which is my newest articles, or once a month, which is my best articles. Interestingly, most people decide to join me once a week, which again shows me that, ah, by doing it this way, people actually are eager to read my newsletters, which is also why my open rates are higher. Now, what's in my email newsletters? Let me explain. It only takes me 10 to 15 minutes every week to send my email newsletter, to write and send. Why is this taking so fast? Because it's so simple. I just simply put the summary, not even summary, the first few paragraphs, the first paragraph or two of my recent article in the newsletter, and I put continue reading, and they click on it, they go to either LinkedIn or Medium to read the article. 
That's it. And I, I, do two, I do two or three of those articles. And at the bottom of my newsletter, I have my upcoming offer, my, my, my next course or my coaching or whatever. But that's at the bottom. They get what they came for first before I make my offer. Okay. So, so that's why it takes me so fast. That's why I'm able to send email newsletters on a consistent basis. The other thing I do is that I have a separate email list for my offers for when I sell my courses or my open my coaching. So when people join my, my normal email newsletter, they get a confirmation email saying, thank you for joining. If you have a question, I'm happy to answer it. By the way, I have another email newsletter if you want to know when my coaching is open or when my, my next course is available. If you want to, join here. So then they can join there if they want to. That's why that email, that offers email list is also very high open rates and people stay subscribed because they actually want it. So the bottom line for all this is that we don't want to be annoying to people. We don't want to be merely tolerated. We want to be sought after. You want your marketing to be something people look forward to, not something people tolerate and like always feel like there's something off there. No, you want people to go, thank you. I feel like that person cares genuinely because they behave as if they care about me as a human being. So anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for being part of this um, video. For those of you who are commenting below, I really appreciate it. And um, I'm George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I love talking about how to build a business, actually earn real trust rather than using manipulative tactics. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.